Okay, so... Um, I'm recording this because this is actually as close as I can get to the original dialogue here. Um... You might notice that the dialogue is ever so slightly different from the opening of the original one. There's certainly less puns. Yeah, it's a bit different. I don't know if it's the exact same as the original original dialogue or anything, but one thing that is different is that they are using the original art. <laughs> yeah, it's especially noticeable with him. Now, another thing that's different about this version compared to the remaster, aside from overall less HD graphics, is I cannot turn around. I cannot go to the right. I can only go to the left. I can jump backwards, but I cannot actually move to the right. That's a problem. What you have to do is, as you go, you have to pick this up. Yeah, in the original game, this was this was a thing to where you had to get this. Um, in the remaster, they got rid of it because honestly, it was a stupid idea, and it the the life uh um, that is in this room got moved to that one, and the and this room just has nothing in it in the remaster. But yeah, like. I will attempt to show all the changes that the remaster ended up doing compared to this version, but let me just say, playing through this version now is going to make my experience way more frustrating. So, we're going to see if I'm going to have the patience to play through this version again. I mean, I'm sure I could do it, given enough patience, but it's just... Ooh, that's going to be rough. I'm so used to how the remaster handles things. Okay, another thing that's actually different in this game is the way snapshots are handled. In the later versions, screenshots were just blink and you'll miss it type things. But in but in this game, whenever you would do it. Bunny will make a fancy little pose. <laughs> that's cute. Um... Okay, so we're at the first boss. It's not a huge difference in dialogue, but it is noticeable. Oh, what's with her? You seem kind of out of it. It's not your business. Well, it's fine either way, but... I mean, like, you gotta make it clear whether you're a cat or a rabbit. Shut up, you fat cow. <laughs> That's apparently, as far as I can, shit. Yeah, that's a good thing to bring up, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. In the original, every time you loaded your save, you were kind of stuck with your default weapon, which is the shooting knives. That is a problem for this boss. So, just a moment, let me fix that little problem here.
that is going to be the hardest thing for me to get accustomed to. It's every time I load up my save, for whatever reason, I'm going to be stuck with the knives. For some things, it isn't a huge problem. For this boss, it most certainly is. You also can't skip dialogue in the original version, you have to sit through it. But yeah, you might notice that the um, facial expressions are much different in this version. Instead of being mildly irritated, Bunny gets flat out pissed when people annoy her, and I like that a lot more. Okay, yeah, the sword's very good for this part. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you definitely want the sword for this, more than any other weapon at this point. Ah. Uh, well, whatever. There we go. Pose, bunny. Also, I prefer her saying victory in this version compared to, like, win-win from the remaster. It just, yeah, makes more sense. They also changed the names. In this one, it's called the Itaten Sandals. Instead of, uh, whatever the remake called it. The remake did handle them better, though. In this game, you have to double tap which direction you want to go in in order to dash. And it is... not as convenient as just being able to hold down a button to dash. But I'll, I'll get used to it. Anyways, next. <sighs> okay, I've been trying to record me doing this uh, one trick that you can do to show off something special. But every time I start recording, I can't seem to do it for whatever reason. Fuck. <sighs> uh. You have to jump on this guy's lasers. And it is hard as fuck to pull off. I do not know why I'm having such issues when other people can do it really well. There we go. Okay. Okay, so basically you don't need the dash boost to get over here. If you actually can get that just right. But as I mentioned, I've had to do that about 20 times to get it right, so it ain't easy. So, as a matter of fact, I'm stopping the recording right here just so I have this prepped to show off what comes later. Alright, so here we here's the second boss. Not much is really different, exactly. I mean, what he says is basically the same. And I have a bad weapon for this. Oh, come on. Move barrier. Really? I can't even get close to him. Because that damn barrier could take him away. Yeah, you can't beat him with knife. And as I've already mentioned, when you, when, whenever you die, you start with knife. That's a bit of a problem. Oh shit, I can't do it with this one. I forgot. Thankfully, the boomerang is right next to the save point, so I don't have to worry about humming one down or anything. Now, before I sucked at this boss, but you know what? It's actually not that hard at all. What you do is you want to corner him and just spam the fucking boomerang. You will occasionally get hit, but... He's really easy if you do that. So I don't know why I had a hard time with him last time. Like, I have no idea. Maybe I just wasn't spamming the boomerangs fast enough? Because you do have to 
mash the button pretty fast. But it's not that hard. And for that, we get the red switch. And it's called the Incandescent Gem now. Instead of the Blazing Gem. Okay, good. Now, the reason I wanted to do this is that we were fighting the bosses out of order. And that's important for what's coming up next. Because now we need to go back to the first boss. Side note, you don't want to do this first. Although, since we're here, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, and get this. Also, it's called Golden Dust in the original, not Empty Powder. It's not the Empty Powder in this version, so... Huh. I think I prefer this version, <laughs> before it's naming. Since Golden Dust just sounds better to me. But anyways, let's see what happens when we fight the first boss now. I become the first devil of a bum boy. Gagagadabongo, whatever. First? Hmm, I'm the earliest one. Does that make me the first? No, you're not the earliest. You didn't. You didn't go beat some other devil before me, did you? Now your business. Don't mess around. Just I was thinking you were a bit late. There's no choking matter. I'll write your name down in this deco notepad. Die. In Japanese, deco equals deco equals forehead. Also, this is a parody of a scene of Death Note. <coughs> if you're going to write my name, don't use a notepad. Write it right under your giant forehead. Be quiet. Shut up. I'll beat you to death by full power. Die. Man, she's really annoying with all this. Die. Die. <laughs> yeah, now she goes into jerk boss mode and is a bitch. Yeah, you actually get punished for doing this out of order. Yeah, she actually becomes one of the hardest bosses early on. Like, seriously. It is... <laughs> really fucking hard. Um, um, I'll show what this boss fight is like in, when I show it up during the remaster. Because it's overall easier to fight her in that. But, like... It's interesting that they did that, though. It is very interesting that they actually um, made a special challenge for the for for the sequence breakers um, of the game. Okay, so. Fuck. go and get healed for this, because it's time to do this. Well, at least that's one bonus to having the knives. It can easily get down here. And go. It's still called the Hyper Heals, but it says Trample Damage Triples. So, okay. Yeah, let's just do that. Now can I get back out? I can destroy these, but... Oh, I see. Okay, so that one's destroyable too. Nice to know. Alright. Well, show that off anyway. Okay, I don't know if this is new or not. But I better say that sorry. Okay, you can destroy this, right? Yes, you can. Awesome. What time power recalls are released? I poorly pressed time to do the past over. Yeah, I think that's different. It gets into one bunny doll. The spikes do come back, so you do gotta be quick. But at least that's convenient. 
The spikes are not in your way. Good to know that. So, uh... I also have not been showing off what the names of these places have been, but I know that's different. The Forbidden Catomic Plant? Yeah. Also, it is worth noting that these giant cannons are a bit different. You might notice that when you attack on top of them, there's a barrier. Yeah. You actually have to stop time and then attack them in order to um, prevent that from happening. Though it does drain a lot of time to do so. But yeah, that's a bit different than in the uh, remaster. But they didn't have a barrier, just a lot of health. Alright, so we have yet another uh, new thing to show. First of all, the cat design in the original is a different type of cat design. And I love it a lot. I? Okay, it's supposed to be nah. Nah. <laughs> also, the dialogue was a little different, where she said, Why can't something I talked to show up? And she said, Are you making fun of me, dumbass? And that's supposed to be where it ends, but... They added, they added another line, which I don't think was needed. And I forgot to get the sword, because I was too busy trying to get to the boss. I would just end the video here, now that I've shown that off, but there is more dialogue at the end. Yeah, this makes this so much easier. Oops, didn't need to spin jump there. Oh crap, come on. <laughs> okay, if you're just gonna keep doing this. Yeah, you're just gonna keep going, kind of trying to hit me from under. Yeah, you're just gonna keep doing that. Alright, sure, why not? It's not like you can hurt me very much. Yeah, you're just gonna keep doing this, even though it's not really working for you. I could kill it faster, but... There we go. I curse you! I'm already cursed! <laughs> that line is so much better than the remaster did. Come on! Why would you change that? That's classic. Ugh. Seriously. <sighs> Seriously, sometimes I just wonder. So, does this say anything different? I don't think it does, but still. Ah, oh, die. Thank you. Hate the knives. <laughs> All right. So, what's this one called? The Abyssal Gem. 
forget what it was called in the the remaster, so And for this we get Dr. N's bizarre shoes. Yeah, that's certainly not what they were called. So yeah. Moving on. So, what's the name for this one? Fool's Abbey. Yeah, can you tell I actually like the names of the original in the original much better? I just do. There's more class to them. Huh? Oh. Huh. For a minute there, it wasn't activating. I was like, oh, come on. I was like, don't tell me it wasn't only in the remaster. I mean, I could easily get up here anyway, but still. Now, this place is a little different in the original. You might notice that this wasn't here before. As long as you hit this, it will infin infinitely disperse time. And you can even jump on top of it to really get a lot of time out of it. I haven't been able to get um, confirmation if this is the case or not, but I'm assuming they removed it for the remaster, just so you couldn't abuse it for the Chrono Shop. Like, just have Bunny just jump on it for like hours to get time gems off of it. Like they want to make you work for it at least a little bit. And I'm not sure I agree with that considering how much they expect you to get for all the bonuses. But, eh, whatever. Otherwise, this room looks primarily the same. I don't think any other rooms are going to be dramatically different aside from this, but we'll see. Okay, I don't know if this boss is going to be any different. I don't recall. I think it might be. Like with, the, with what attacks it uses. But we'll see. Okay, the lasers. Yeah, it didn't shoot the little fireball attack. So I think that's only for the remaster. But they added that to make her come off a little bit tougher. So... Let's see about the dialogue with Count Flash this time around. Finally, some I can talk to has shown up. Aw, uh, they changed it. Okay, in the, in the original dialogue, he was supposed to be all your base or belong to us joke. Which they also kept in the remaster. And they apparently changed it. Okay, it's supp he's supposed to say that, and he's supposed to make a comment about, I only speak Japanese. No speak, no speaky English. J oh, Japanese, please. I'm telling you I don't understand. You dumb, you, 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 you idiot. So stop talking already, we don't understand each other. So, yeah, um, and I don't have the sword. <laughs> I do not have the sword for this fight, so I'm probably just going to die. Yeah, let's just die. Because doing this with the sword just is way harder than it needs to be, so. But, yeah. There we go.
Oh, you can destroy the pillars? I didn't know that. I don't think Chelsea could have taken advantage of that battle. Ow. Also, you might notice he shoots a single fireball instead of the, uh, um, big one. But he does shoot a laser. And I win. Okay, so... That's kind of most of the dialogue throughout the game, unfortunately. We don't find another boss until the Pumpkin Tower. So... You know, that's a thing. causes a quake in this version. In the, uh... These stupid cannons would shut up. Um, in the remaster, it really didn't do much of anything. But you're just supposed to expect it to did something. Where the effects are far more noticeable in this one. This place is called the Dark King's Lair. Now, it is worth noting that this place is di very different in the original. You might notice that there was, that there's not a small area of vision around me at all times. No, there isn't. The screen will just dim little by little, depending on how many candles you destroy. Though even when it's fully dark, you can still barely see your surroundings. There is no candles around me, and yet I can still see just fine. So, really, the area of vision's not near as bad in the original, which is probably why they changed it. You know, to make the dark effect actually feel like it means something. But I prefer this. This place is hard enough as it is, and not being able to see around you just makes it worse. There's also these little orbs here, where if you hit them, it will briefly light up and show you your surroundings. Which is neat. Yeah, the remaster took out some things I really wish it didn't. I'm just gonna say. Coming here with the sword? Oh man, so much easier. Um, I don't think there's anything more to show though, as far as the dark area is concerned. I don't think so, anyway. I think everything's the same as before. You know, press switches, go through area, not fight a boss at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the same, so I'm just gonna stop the recording here. I know we're at the boss room. Strange. It seems like something lives here. Well, whatever. I'll just hurry past. Indeed you shall. No multi-eyeball bo stage boss for you. Which I'm kind of glad for, because can you imagine finding a boss like that with Buddy's arsenal? That would get kind of crazy pretty fast. Well, we have the yellow gem now. The Unicorn's Gem. Oh, this one. So then I'm making you sit through this. Okay, so this is worth noting that this room is actually a bit different. Wait, what the fuck? What happened to my time stop? Oh, that's right. I forgot. It gets drained if you jump on things. That's right.
There we go, got it. <laughs> it is slightly different. The tank booster has been released. So during a desk time stretch will begin. Time stretch mode, press time once more to end it. Time stretch? That's a weird way to put it. But yeah. That's, that's, that's all for this place. So we are outside of the first boss room where there is that mysterious time thing from before. But it looks a little bit different in this version. Just a bit. Strange. What's going on here? Is there somebody who defeated this devil before I could? Yep, slightly different dialogue there. And we got to see what Chelsea looks like in this version. Yeah, we'll see more, we'll get more into that later, 